a very good morning my dear students i welcome you all in the online english class in previous class i had already completed the reading part and also started the explanation part of lesson number 10 tsunami so today i am going to continue the explanation part of this lesson in previous class i already said tsunami is a series of waves in a water in a water body caused by the displacement of a large volume of water generally in an ocean or a large lake so see the explanation part of this chapter it was a pleasant morning and sun is shining brightly in the sky all the people were enjoying in the beach some people were talking uh taking swimming and some were traveling by speed boats children are were also playing in the water in a little distance uh, two or three ships were sailing quietly in the silent water fishermen were also down by the beach to collecting the fish all the tourists were also enjoying near the beach with happy happily and watching all the fun over their breakfast so it's look looked like a perfect day so continue the explanation part all of a sudden a loud hissing sound came from the sea suddenly a big and loud hissing sound came from the seaside a giant wave was heading towards the shore at great speed a big wave was heading towards the shore at great speed it sent speed boats flying across the tops of waves like matchstick so that waves throw the speed boats flying across the tops of waves like matchsticks fishing boats were upturned with the fishermen still holding on to them fishing boats were pointing upwards turned upside down and the fishermen still holding on to them when the locals saw this they yelled big wave big wave so when the local people saw that situation they shouted loudly big wave big wave and told the people to leave the place and they said to the people to that left the place people started screaming and running with their bags and babies so people all the people were started afraid and running with their bags and babies some people climbed the nearest rock some clung to poles and trees or anything they could grab so some people climbed onto the nearest rock some people hold the poles and trees very tightly or anything they could grab then the sea in all its fury came further inwards and swept away everything in the streets so in that time the sea with extreme strength of violence in an action all the things swept away in the streets the waves descended upon the shops houses and restaurants in the lanes so the wave go down to a lower places like shops houses and restaurants in the lakes the moving water carried away furniture beach umbrellas pots and pans cots mattresses uprooted trees and everything that came in its way so the wave go down first to a lower places like shops houses and restaurants in the lanes the flowing water carried away everything furniture beach umbrellas pots and pans cots mattresses removed trees everything that 
came in the way. Within minutes, thousands of unsuspecting people were engulfed by a wall of seawater. Within a minutes, thousands of people were not realizing what was the actually happening with the surrounded of seawater. When the ocean finally receded, it left thousands of people dead and a lot more homeless. So at last when the ocean move away and begin to disappear so many people were dead and a lot more homeless. We call this is or this a tsunami. It is one of the many natural disasters that cause a huge destruction of lives and property. So we call it tsunami. It is one of the many natural disasters that cause the act of destroying something which kill or hurt large number of people and property. The word tsunami pronounced tsunami comes from two Japanese words su means harbor and nami means wave. The word tsunami pronounced tsunami comes from two Japanese words su means harbor, nami means wave so tsunami means a harbor wave so harbor waves are shallow water waves and therefore like tides they moved in the open ocean at very high speed so tsunami means a harbor wave have you ever wondered how these tsunamis are caused? So do you know how these tsunamis are caused? Well, tsunami are caused when there is a disturbance such as an earthquake or a volcano deep under the ocean. So actually tsunami are caused when there is a disturbance such as an earthquake or a volcano deep under the ocean. An underwater earthquake is the most common cause of tsunami. An underwater earthquake is the most common cause of a tsunami part. But not every earthquake causes a tsunami. But always remember that every earthquake is not responsible for tsunami. The earthquake must measure at least 7.0 on the richer scale to cause a tsunami. So the earthquake must measure at 7.0 on the richer scale to cause a tsunami. A richer scale is a scale which is used for measuring how severe an earthquake is. It is used to measure the strength of an earthquake. But why do these underwater earthquakes happen? But now the question is arise how sorry why do these underwater earthquakes happen? They happen because some areas of the earth's crust push into each other and build a pressure. It happens because some areas of the earth hard layer on the outside of something push into each other and build up pressure. The pressure builds and builds until the areas under the earth's crust releases all the energy in the form of an earthquake. So that pressure builds till the areas under the earth's crust releases all the energy in the form of an earthquake. When the underwater earthquake is large enough, the floor of the ocean makes movement. So when the underwater earthquake is big enough, the floor of the ocean makes movement. Therefore, the water above the sea floor also moves. So one place to another and therefore the water above the sea floor also moves. The water is then pushed upwards and this becomes the tsunami wave. In that time, the water is pushed 
upward and it's become the tsunami wave it travels at very high speeds of up to 600 miles per hour it travels at very high speeds of up to 600 miles per hour the wave has plenty of room to move but when it gets near the shore the wave starts to build in height because the water has no where to travel so the wave has get little bit of room to move but when it gets near the shore the wave starts to build in height because the water has no where to move the first wave that can grow up to 30 meters high at the beach will usually be followed by more waves that are even more dangerous so the first wave that can grow up to 30 meters high at the beach will usually be followed by more waves that are even more dangerous also eventually the wave hits the shore and then travels inland so eventually the wave hits the land of edge and then it travels in inland however the wave settles down and all the water that came on to land from the tsunami moves back into the ocean so however the wave settles down and all the water that came on to the land land from the tsunami moves back to the ocean unfortunately such large amounts of water can cause loss of lives and property if people are not warned of the danger so unfortunately such large amounts of water can cause loss of lives and property if people are not warned or if people are not warned of the danger but then how do we identify a tsunami so now question is that how do we identify how do we know about tsunami the difference between a tsunami wave and a normal wave is the extreme distance between one wave crest to the next wave crest so the difference between a tsunami wave and a normal wave is the extreme distance between one wave crest to the next wave crest when a tsunami wave approaches the land the water will be pulled back into the sea by enormous currents so when a tsunami wave is come near the land the water will be moved back towards their own land into the sea with enormous currents if the people if the people on the beach notice the water on the sea bed getting drained they will have a few minutes to escape to higher ground so if the people on the beach notice the water on the sea bed getting drained they will have a few minutes to manage get away from that place to avoid something danger and do you know that a young girl noticed the early signs of a tsunami and warned all the people on the beach but how did she know of it she had learned all about it in her geography class and so and do you know what a and do you know that a young girl noticed that early signs of a tsunami and warned all the people on the beach so how did she knew about that she all had learned all about in in her geography class only so my dear students explanation part of this lesson is also over and i hope you all understand this lesson very nicely so again i want to tell you all must read this lesson very carefully with good and correct pronunciation at home thank you and have a great day